First, though, Richard Barnett from Northwest Arkansas appeared before a federal judge today for crimes committed at the U.S. Capitol. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. You may remember Barnett as one of the rioters that stormed the Capitol last week. 5 News reporter Allie Lynch joining us live with what happened today. Allie. Well, Darren Erica, the hearing was held via Zoom this afternoon with Barnett behind bars here at the Washington County Detention Center. We learn new details from this hearing. We're learning Barnett is accused of entering the Capitol building with a stun gun. He could face up to a decade in prison if convicted on this charge alone, along with several others. Here is a sketch of Barnett during his Zoom hearing today as he faced a federal judge. The 60-year-old charges include stealing an envelope from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. Those charges also include knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority with a lethal weapon, violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds, and theft of public money. The U.S. Attorney's Office also held a press conference today to give an update on their investigation into uncovering more of the rioters' identities. Barnett was mentioned by name. The uh, Barnetts and Johnsons who were literally rifling through Pelosi's office and stealing items, stealing materials, mail, and sometimes even personal mementos. So those are the cases the public's familiar with. They're familiar with those cases because of social media. Five News was one of only a few media outlets to speak exclusively with Barnett via a phone call hours after he unlawfully entered the Capitol. At that time, he had not been arrested. Barnett showed no remorse for his actions in the interview. And when asked about the possibility of facing federal charges for illegally entering the Speaker's office, his response. Am I scared? Hell no. But yeah, there's a possibility. I didn't do anything. I didn't even reach the doors. I got shoved in. I didn't mean to be in there. The acting U.S. attorney, Michael Sherwin, says the range of criminal conduct is unmatched to any scenario their office has seen before. We're looking at everything from simple trespass to theft of mail to theft of digital devices with inside the Capitol to assault on local officers, federal officers, both outside and inside the Capitol. Now, Barnett will be in court for his detention hearing this Friday at 1230. We're live tonight in Fayetteville. Covering news where you live, Allie Lynch, 5 News. All right, Allie, thanks. Barnett will be held at the Washington County Detention Center until that hearing.